Did you know you can take slow shutter speed photos with your iPhone? I use an app called Spectra, but there are others you can use. In this video, I'm going to review some photos I took with the iPhone using a slow shutter speed. So here we go. So with this photo, the first thing I saw were these balloons, and I knew that that would make a good photo uh, with doing a long shutter speed. My goal was to basically, I wanted to try to get a photo where people are kind of standing still. Uh, some people are standing still, but then other people are moving and other things are moving. So trying to get maybe like an isolated person. And I think I accomplished that pretty good here. So of course, you know, we got the balloons moving. Employees kind of standing still long enough for me to... Uh, you know she's not as blurry and then we got this person over here on the right uh, that's taking a photo of the balloons and so zoom in here and in the background you got the people moving so they're kind of more you know blurry got the long shutter going and this is kind of what i was trying to go for i think this photo turned out pretty well the balloons look really great with with how blurriness it goes i used um snapseed to uh, edit the photos um, on the iphone so all of this stuff was already edited on the iphone i think this photo turned out pretty good so this photo you know we got the background that's in focus and then we got the people moving around with the long shutter speed so they kind of look like they're uh, blurred out but this person she walked in front of me and then she just kind of stood there staring off to the distance and so gave me what i was looking for somebody who was standing still that would kind of be sharp sharp enough where other people who are walking around are a little bit more blurry so this that's what i was really hoping for um, and i think this turned out pretty good there's a lot of people i mean some people in the background i wish they were a little bit more blurry still i think this worked out pretty well all right this next photo is just a sh uh, crowd shot i knew i was going to get a bunch of people you know blurry on this one um, so you got the background pretty much in focus i couldn't isolate a single person though everybody's pretty much moving in this in this area everybody's walking around but what i do like about this photo so this person right here in the front that's pretty blown out it's pretty funny so like if you just zoom in here kind of just see right through her face we'll go even more you see right through her face into the people behind her that i think that's fun that's really cool what's great about this is that it's all done with the iphone you don't have to have a tripod to set up or anything like that you can just do it handheld and that makes it really great for places like this where there's a lot of people you don't want to set up a tripod i also like this photo because this uh this lady right here is looking back all right this next photo i really like so these two people they're just walking across and i like kind of how the how they're kind of like in between the his mouth and I think that's pretty neat. Contrast here is pretty good. One thing you can tell with the iPhone, it might be a little different if you did it with like just a regular camera. Um, so you notice like it's kind of, it's not the smoothest. Like you can kind of see it, it takes multiple frames. So that's kind of what it does when you are using the long shutter speed. Now I, I like this, this doesn't bother me at all, but it could bother some people who are used to like doing maybe slow shutter speeds with, uh, with a, a real camera, a regular camera. I think it's a cool effect. Okay, now this photo worked out really well. So this lady right here, here. she's just on the phone uh, sitting down so she's being really still so she's perfectly in focus here i mean that's that's dead on focus so she's sharp everybody else around her is blurry and this is really what i was looking to trying to do pretty much it was a perfect and, and the composition is pretty good too all right, this next photo, there's a couple of these photos I, I took with, uh, I took against this yellow wall and the phone had a problem with this yellow wall. I, I don't know why, but it couldn't keep the yellow wall. It couldn't keep it like sharp. It kept jumping around, but I still like these photos anyway, even though nothing in this photo is sharp. So these two people are walking by and you know, you can kind of tell, make out what they're, what they have on. So like this person has a backpack on, obviously she has Mickey ears on. You can see it right here. Um, they're holding in a bag. This person a little less, you can't quite tell what she's got. I do like the contrast with these people in the yellow wall. There's another photo, this one right here. This one I really like. This one's just an employee walking by. Of course, he's like wearing all white. Really, I think the yellow wall makes these photos. Now, he's pretty blown out. You can't really make much detail, but I liked it. I like that about this photo. It's just a little different, you know? I like it, it's pretty cool. But there's also another one, this one. Now this one you can make out people a little bit better. So these people were kind of like standing in line and, and moving a little bit. So that's why, you, you know, this kid is a little bit more in focus and all these other people. So, and also the contrast with the yellow wall is pretty good in this photo too. Out of those three photos, this one, this one, and this one, I'm not quite sure which one I like the most, but I guess I might be leaning towards this one here. Okay, this next one, you know, I don't know. This is an okay photo. Um, these two people were playing guitar, bass, and they were moving while they're playing and then foam pretty much focused on right here on the microphone. So these microphones are in focus and of course you got the background, but it's, a, it's an okay photo. I like 
like it. I like the people playing instruments and stuff, but I don't know if this was really, this isn't really what I was hoping for with this photo, but I still think it's a pretty, it's a pretty good, nice, fun photo. Now this photo is a little bit more back to what I was hoping for. So this, you got this person right here, stop, is looking at this, uh, I don't know, little golf cart thing. This little guy is just not moving that much. So it's more in focus and then everybody around him is moving and getting out of focus. And so this is really what I was trying to get the most out of these photos. That was a little, the goal of the project that I was trying to do. This one turned out pretty good. And this photo right here, so I like this one. I really like the uh, the lamp here. So this is what struck me. So basically I was taking photos and then these two people came and sat down. And so obviously since they sat down, they're not really moving much, which was perfect for what I was looking for. They're pretty much in focus while everybody else is more blurred out. This is what I was hoping for. Although it would have been, this would have been a little bit better if they had, they were more on the other side of this pole. Uh, I think that would be more cooler to see like more of their faces or, or whatnot. But if I was on the other side, I wouldn't be getting the people walking in front of them. So I don't know. This is, this is a pretty cool photo too. Okay. Now this photo, this photo might be one of my favorite photos on here. I just like, I like the tones of it. I like how, I like the orange, orangeness of it. And uh, you know, the same thing happened here. These people, they stopped, they were looking at, I think a pamphlet or a menu or something so they were just kind of still and so as these people were walking by blurring these people out and so i really like this the fact that this person right here she stopped right in front of me while i was taking a photo was looking down and grabbing her kid so right here you can see she's grabbing the hand of her kid and so that slight movement right here i think works really well with this photo you can kind of see her face like half of it so i really like how this how this turned out using the phone and the long shutter speed and here's another good photo that uh, i got with this little person right here uh, she's just standing there looking down at the ground, but she's doing it um, long enough where she's more in focus and everybody around her is walking around. Again, this is perfect. This is what I was hoping for trying to find. So I think this one also turned out great. Also, I like the fact that these two people right here perfectly like puts this person, this little girl in the middle. This one worked out really well. And this photo, so this was like a carousel going to spin around. So obviously I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to go take a photo of this carousel. You know, there's a lot of movement there. Um, and then the, these people were just sitting there watching. It. And so this was a perfect opportunity, you know, to try to get people standing still. Now she, I like this photo because she's smiling. She's looking over now she, but she's still moving. So she's not exactly sharp. She's sharp enough. I mean, you can, you can make fact, you know, she's wearing glasses, she's smiling, you know, you can see her face pretty well. So this is, this is good enough. I wish it was a little bit sharper that she wasn't quite moving, but she was uh, swinging her feet while she was sitting there. So that's cool. I like how her, her legs pretty much just kind of like blur out what, because she's moving her feet. I think that's fun, but this, this is a good one. And then this is just a photo, um, a little more close up of the carousel, people going around. You can't really tell anything on this photo. I just thought it was cool with the colors. Now this photo right here, um, I really like the background. There was three surfboards, but a bunch of people were right in front of me. So I, I like it for the colors, but it didn't quite, this isn't quite what I was hoping for. So I did it again. And then this next one is a little more what I was hoping for. And so now you can see kind of background is more sharp. Uh, you have this kid here just kind of uh, walking along and then this group of people walking along. So this this one has a little bit more of what I was looking for, something sharp and then showing like the movement of the people. This other photo right here, this is a little more minimum. You got just a single person. And I think I like this probably the best because you can see the three surfboards. You see her walking through. Like I was saying earlier, the iPhone, the way it does the long shutter speed, it kind of like takes multiple frames. So you can kind of see the multiple frames of it. It doesn't bother me at all, but I, I don't think it does this if you had like a real camera. Like if you're doing a long shutter speed with a real camera, this is more smoother would sacrifice not having to use a tripod so and use an iphone so i think it you know this is this is so much easier to do in a place like this there's me you can see me in the in the background taking the photo here i like that it's pretty fun <laughs> all right well that was fun so here are some of my favorite photos from this round and which photo do you like most vote by leaving a comment below thanks for watching